Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalatu wassalam ala rasulillah. In today's lesson, I would like to show you how we can create a portal frame uh, with an arc beam or a bent beam. I have a previous tutorial on this uh, with Dynamo, but uh, this tutorial will be uh, more complicated and I will uh, discuss about more uh, new uh, features. So open uh, Dynamo. Open new project and like before bring range because I have a set of points and I want to uh, put a set of points after that I want a uh, number because I have to uh, put uh, the total height of um, uh, of column the span the uh, total length of my portal frame so I will copy uh, a couple of times double click here name it this one total length accept and name it this one by length accept and this one number of base accept so just uh, right click and align it to left side so as to be aligned everything uh, for the total I have to give it a number any number no problem uh, uh, start uh, is zero so it doesn't need anything uh, just to add for this step I will going to use a formula uh, what is this formula if a uh, number of base or bay length let's say bay length let's give it this number three uh, six thousand uh, and I will say if if this number is greater than, than zero I will use this one otherwise if this one is zero and you want to put a number of base you can use this uh, this number so for this I want to use a formula so just go to formula and I will write a formula and I say if a greater than zero then use a otherwise use b divided by c what's uh, a and b and c just click it everything will be clear here so if a is greater than zero so this one if b length greater than zero use this one otherwise b divided by c so this one divided by this one just let me write down a number let's say four and click here so move everything and right click make this to be aligned with left after that I can give it a step but just I want to uh, change this one to manual so uh, it doesn't affect anything now if I put any number greater than zero uh, it will use this one if I put this zero it will use this one we will check this later no problem and so I have a set of points now uh, I can give it uh, this a set of point uh, on y-axis or on uh, z-axis no problem so I want to bring uh, point now point by coordinates for uh, bottom and top which is the uh, zero height of columns and uh, height of columns so I want to br uh, copy these two times and I can give it this one uh, on y-axis points on y-axis points on y-axis except point is on y-axis with column height okay so this one will be with column height and this is this one be will be a zero so I want to a sequence here 
and I can uh, give it these two sequences from to this one and to that one. But uh, the difference between these two, this one should be should have this one and this one should have a height. So I have to uh, copy one of the numbers and change change it to height of color. Except let's say seven thousand and connect it to this one. So now I have a start and end point. Start and end point. That's very good. I have start and end point. I now I can make my beams. So advanced steel, uh, beams, straight beam, straight by two points. This is the start point and this is the end point. For the orientation, let's say Z axis. And I can click here and run. So now I have these uh, columns. Let's try if we put this one zero. Now it's zero, right? So click here and run. You see, when we run, one, two, three, four. So I have four base. This is zero, so it is this one. Change back this one to a number. Or run, it will use this one. So this is the uh, new feature that uh, for the previous tutorial I didn't uh, show you this. Another cool thing is uh, I put this uh, columns I don't want to uh, put everything I want to make with mirror so I will use mirror I have three mirrors how can I use uh, how can I know which one I, I should use this one is for mesh so it has mesh and plane so I don't need mesh I, I don't have uh, mesh this one again uh, uh, for geometry I don't have geometry also uh, this one for co coordinate system. I have coordinate system. I have point. So I want to uh, give a point or mirror a point uh, through a plane. So click here. I have these uh, points now. These two. I can copy one of the. Oh, sorry. I can select this one. Control C, Control V, because I want to copy both of them. This point and that point so what can I do now for plane I have to bring a plane right uh, which plane I want to bring it I want to bring this one because I want to uh, mirror it like this so uh, YZ I want to bring uh, YZ okay I bring YZ if I bring this one it will uh, mirror on the same axis here on the same axis so I don't I don't need that I want to uh, mirror it with uh, a distance right so what I have to use I have to use offset I have to use offset so I have a plane now this plane and I will connect I'm sorry I have to connect this one because I have to connect this to that not to mirror plane yes this one to this and this one to this also what about the distance which distance I, sh I should uh, mirror the my distance is span divided by two span divided by two so I don't have span I will copy one of them and take it to that side and name it as span span length accept so span length let's say 20,000 as I said I don't want to uh, with the span because if I uh, made with span it will be uh, span will be doubled so I have to divide this one just right click here and write down this sign uh, divide sign and uh, I have to 
divide span by what by what which value by two so I'll use blog block code block and write to enter just connect this one to that if I click here and run nothing happened why I think I select ah yes uh, I just uh, make the points so I have to bring this B control C control V and this is my start point and this is my end point so now everything is good click here run yes now I have these uh, pointers or these columns like this for now what I want I want to I want to uh, make a bent beam a bent beam between these two points okay between these uh, two points so for this I will go to back and to bring a bent beam bent by three points what I have I have to bring start and end and uh, orientation and uh, point on arc I will choose everything for this the end of this column is the start of my point my beam also the end of this column the start of my beam so when I have uh, end this is my the end of one beam so this is the start and here the end will be the end of my beam for the orientation uh, I want to take the same thing for this one and for the point of arc the point of arc it, uh, how can I get this point the point of arc I will give it a distance a middle distance between these two points with a z height with a z height okay so I can copy a point I can bring a point anywhere is yes this point let's say control C control V I'll leave everything empty and I will name it point is in middle except so points in in middle I have uh, I have to take y from sequence where's my sequence yes I have to take y from this point to that point because I have a sequence of points right what about x the x is the middle distance between these two columns so I have this I have calculated before this one where is it yes this is span length divided by 2 so I have X for this also what about the Z Z is the height of rafter I can copy this one control C control V let's just write down middle height double click middle height and accept so I have to give it a middle height maybe uh, 8500 and this is the point on arc click here and run you see you get this arc if you increase this one for something 10,000 you can just click it and click again run again you see everything changed now yes for the section we can we can uh, make sections you see everything is very very good uh, structure 
so uh, the, uh, this is for today I can bring out everything uh, the variables let's say span length I can bring out this one this is uh, my input data this one uh, what else height of column maybe and middle middle right again again I can I can uh, choose this one with the height or with angle with angle it uh, is the same procedure for this so everything I think uh, we put out every uh, variable data data uh, this da uh, data that we can change it and select everything right click and align it to left and after the right click uh, make create group you see here you can write down uh, this group or you can you can put uh, because we have two bay length and numbers we can put uh, this as a note if you want to put let's say if you want to put number of bays of bays please let uh, bay length zero so this one uh, when you you come back after a while you can recognize this one when you want to use this one you have to uh, use this one zero and uh, this is for today's lesson uh, hope you enjoyed guys thank you very much